Hello everybody. Let me turn this music down. I'm Steve Anthony and I am taking part in hashtag where where I write and I'm going to show you where I write where I write, which is my little office here. Let's just see if I can turn this around. Okay. So here is my cat, Rolo on my seat. I'm going to have to move you for a second. Okay. Put you on, put you there. So I am the writer and illustrator of several picture books, including The Queen's Hat, Please Mr. Panda, and Bessie Goes Bananas. So this little office is where it all takes place. And it's a bit of a mess right now because I've just got back from the Bologna Children's Book Fair and I'm sort of sorting out everything. So everything starts here. Although I use a computer and a big scanner, everything starts in my sketchbook and I keep lots of sketchbooks. Here are some of those sketchbooks and I do lots of observational drawings as you can see here. So lots of drawings to experiment with mark making and it's great to go to places like the zoo and just draw animals to try to get a good understanding of how they how they look and how they move and then I've got another sketchbook other sketchbooks which are for all of my ideas so I do lots of observational drawing and I do lots of imaginary drawings as well this is top secret, this book, so I can only really show you a couple of images. I take books like this to my publisher and show them sort of future ideas. So if I just open this out, and this is one illustration here of lots of fish. And they're all numbered because I have, I have a list here somewhere of all of the names of the fish lots of other ideas as well. There's loads of stuff here. So I'll just put that down there. And here I've got loads of boxes. I'm currently sorting out. Here you go. Okay, I've got lots of boxes here sorting out sort of all my things. I've got boxes where I keep newspaper reviews and stuff like that and sort of old work. This here actually is the uh, first dummy book of Please Mr. Panda. It hasn't really changed much since this book. There's lots of, lots of old stuff in here. I'm not sure I'm going to go into this too much. <laughs> What's going to be in this box? Okay, loads of newspapers and things. So in this box, I'm just sorting out my books. I've got loads of books here. This is the, uh, the proof, actually, for the paperback of Please, Mr. Panda. Shiny. I'm not sure I should even be showing that, to be honest. Shiny. Put that there. And different languages. Loads of books in here. And what I will do actually is show you my computer. 
behind the computer I've got a cork board with lots of things on there things to do lists, ideas and stuff like that ok I'm listening to Star Wars right now let me just go on to my Photoshop so here is where I do all of the alterations to my drawings I draw everything in pencil and graphite sticks like this and I scan it with my A3 scanner and it goes into Photoshop and then I do all the colouring in and tweaking this actually is a spread from an upcoming picture book that's going to be published by Hodder Children's called The Queen's Hat uh, sorry, The Queen's Handbag which is a sequel to The Queen's Hat so here's The Queen's Hat where the Queen is running all over London chasing her hat and here is the Queen's handbag These are, this is the proofs by the way it's a bit tatty where the Queen is running all over the United Kingdom driving actually, driving all sorts of different things chasing a swan so I'm going to show you a few, just a few spreads a quick peek I know I can't show too much of this so for example this is Snowdonia and there's the Queen parachuting down and the Corgi and there's two officers taking a selfie and there is a there's somebody up here, who's that? Okay, and there's the butler who is in a micro light. And there is a couple here having a picnic. There's a mountain goat, and this mountain goat actually appears later in the book. This butler appears on almost every page in this book, just like in The Queen's Hat. But in this book, the butler is carrying a box. And I'll show one more spread of this book. So they're cycling through Oxford in this. This took absolutely ages to draw. But then I also do much simpler books, like Please Mr. Panda. And here is a spread from, that's a bit blurry, from I'll Wait Mr. Panda, which is the next book. In uh, the, the next panda book, and I've got the proofs here. This is the cover. I can show the cover. This was uh, revealed at the Bologna Children's Book Fair. I'm sorry about the camera being so blurry. Oh, here we go. This is at the Bologna Children's Book Fair where it was revealed. So the cover's out there, and people have seen it. So it's I'll Wait Mr. Panda, which is all about patience. So I will show you actually how I do this. So I scan in something like this, scan it in, and then I add the colour. So this here is an alpaca. If I go to my layers, if I just click that to hide it, so if the alpaca is gone. And if I just go into the uh, folder and open it, here we go. So there's all these different layers make up the alpaca. So I have to delete some of these layers and you can see what happens. So even though it is pretty simple there's a lot of layers going on. So yeah it can be quite a laborious process especially with things like this. And I have a glass desk here, which is like, well, there's a mess under there, which is like a, uh, a light box. So I use my lamp, put it under the glass desk, which means I can trace all sorts of stuff and get the, the pictures just right, and, and scan it into Photoshop. And what else can I show you here real quick? There's my iPad, which I broke at Bologna. I can't believe I stood on it and smashed it. Um, got some books here. I have more books than this, by the way. I'm just sorting out stuff. I've got a whole box of books. Boxes of books. So this is what I'm looking at right now. Some things is uh, from 
my MA show along with Mr. Panda. Image, there's a guard up here. And I'm not too sure what else I can show you actually. So this is essentially sort of where it all happens. I'll just turn this around. Okay, so there you have it. This is where I write. Thank you for watching.